myself Prabhat Rajan Mishra, Assistant Professor Department of Aeronautical Engineering, School of Engineering and Writing Maths University. So today we are going to start a lecture of thermodynamics. So basic concept of thermodynamics we will cover in this lecture first. After that we will go on in uh, deep. Okay. So let's start the lecture. <coughs> Good morning to all students. <clears throat> Today we are studying thermodynamics basic concepts. So thermodynamics. So uh, what does it mean? What is thermodynamics? First of all, let me tell you the definition of thermodynamics. Uh, thermodynamics is the science. Thermodynamics is the science of what? Energy transfer. Energy transfer and its effect on <coughs> properties of system. <coughs> So students, thermodynamics is the science of energy transfer and its effects on properties of the system. Here comes three different words that is properties and system and second thing is energy. So what is properties and what is system? I am going to tell you uh, after that. Um, so, what is system? First of all, let me tell you what is system. System is nothing but it is a region. What? It is a region in space. It is a region in space upon which the study is focused or concentrated. Right? What? Our study is, study is focused. मतलब क्या है कि ये ऐसा स्पेस है जहां पे हमारी जो भी स्टडी हम जो कर रहे हैं थर्मोडायनेमिक स्टडी वो हम फोकस कर रहे हैं ऐसा तो नहीं है कि पूरे एरिया पे हम कवर करेंगे जिस पर्टिकुलर एरिया पे या जिस रीजन पे हम कंसंट्रेट कर रहे हैं अपनी स्टडी के लिए उस रीजन को हम बोलेंगे अपना सिस्टम ओके <coughs> उसको क्या बोलेंगे हम लोग सिस्टम बोलेंगे और प्रॉपर्टीज क्या होता है व्हाट इज प्रॉपर्टीज ये मैं आपको आगे बताऊंगा फिर भी इन ब्रीफ में बता दूं कि प्रॉपर्टीज क्या होता है कि सिस्टम का नॉमेनक्लेचर बोल सकते हैं या सिस्टम का नाम बोल सकते हैं यू कैन कॉल इट द नेम ऑफ द सिस्टम लाइक ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स हैव डिफरेंट नेम्स डिफरेंट प्रॉपर्टीज लाइक नानासो नानासो हैज ही इज रेगुलर इन क्लास ही इज वेरी अटेंटिव इन क्लास सो ऑल दीस थिंग्स आर हिज प्रॉपर्टीज so every system also has some properties in thermodynamic nomenclature some system has uh, different pressure different temperature different volume different densities so all these things are the properties <coughs> so <coughs> later on i will tell you the <coughs> uh, what is properties and how many types of properties are there different types of properties intensive extensive all the things i am going to explain later on so now <coughs> different thing is that Next thing is that surrounding. Surroundings. What is surroundings? Anything external to the system is known as surrounding. So what is it? External to So anything external to the system is called surroundings. Matlab system ke bahar ki jitni bhi cheeze hain unko surrounding bolte hain. Aur System and surrounding both are separated by a boundary. That separation line, it may be imaginary, is called boundary. So what is boundary? Boundary. What is boundary? It is a separation between system and surrounding. So the separation 
the separation between system and surrounding is known as boundary right <coughs> boundary can be either rigid or flexible or it can be real or imaginary okay so uh, let me uh, draw a line draw a figure of uh, the system let's suppose this is our system where our study is focused so i am writing here it is a system so this line is called boundary and anything external to the system is called <coughs> surroundings what is it it is surroundings okay but system plus surrounding if we add both of these means if we erase this line of boundary then what it will become it will become universe so what is universe universe is nothing but system plus surroundings okay <coughs> <coughs> so next topic is types of system till now we have understand what is system so next topic will be types of system types of system ha uh, so a uh, first type of system is closed system closed system second is open system and third one is isolated system so what is closed system as the name implies closed that means no mass transfer between the system and surrounding so here no mass transfer right but energy may transfer energy transfer energy transfer happens okay for example piston cylinder arrangement is called closed system where no mass transfer happens means right but energy transfer from the piston cylinder without valve okay piston cylinder arrangement without valve if valve is there then fuel may enter inside the piston cylinder arrangement but if we don't have any kind of valve then only energy is going to be transferred from the piston cylinder arrangement so that is the example but in open system what happens mass also transfer and energy also transfer both may transfer between system and surroundings for example turbine in turbine what happens <coughs> steam comes over the blade of the turbine then turbine blades rotates and then it develops energy so energy also transferred mass also transferred because what steam is coming that steam is also going out from the turbine also then comes isolated system in isolated system no mass transfer no energy transfer uh, for example a hot coffee in a well insulated flask and universe is also an example of isolated system so in thermos flask what happens no mass transfer if the cap is closed and no energy also transfer ideally right okay <clears throat> so till now we have understand the types of system what is system what is surrounding and what is thermodynamics uh so next we will see the microscopic and mic macroscopic approach microscopic and macroscopic approach of what thermodynamics obviously hmm. so in microscopic approach the behavior of individual molecules what behavior of 
individual molecules is taken into consideration because it is microscopic this approach is also known as statistical thermodynamics what we call statistical thermodynamics statistical thermodynamics this approach is used at low densities it means higher altitudes right but in macroscopic approach what is macroscopic approach in macroscopic approach the behavior of individual molecule is not taken into consideration as we consider in microscopic approach but the average behavior of molecules is taken into consideration what the average behavior the average behavior of molecules molecules is taken into consideration this approach is also known as classical thermodynamic classical thermodynamics in our study we deal with classical thermodynamics only because in our syllabus we have to study only classical thermodynamics so <clears throat> next we'll see the thermodynamics equilibrium thermodynamics equilibrium uh, a system is said to be in thermodynamic equilibrium if it is in first thermal equilibrium second mechanical equilibrium third chemical equilibrium okay so a system is said to be in thermodynamic equilibrium if it is in thermal equilibrium mechanical equilibrium chemical equilibrium so uh, what is thermal equilibrium thermal equilibrium is equality of temperature equality of temperature means our system everywhere our system will be in equal temperature okay and what about mechanical equilibrium mechanical equilibrium means equality of forces and pressure equality of forces and pressure means no unbalanced forces should be there in the system so equality of forces or pressure and last one chemical equilibrium means equality of chemical potential no any reaction should be there means it is chemically stable it should be chemically stable so uh, so if these three equilibrium are there then only we can say thermodynamic equilibrium now let's uh, jump to the properties of the system as uh, earlier uh, tell about this little bit properties of a system so what is properties of a system properties are characteristics of a system properties are characteristics of a system like pressure temperature volume density etc so there are two types of uh, properties are there uh, we can classify into two types first intensive property intensive property second extensive property so what is intensive properties intensive properties are independent of size or mass okay independent of size or mass and extensive properties depend on the size or mass okay 